Hey YouTube, here's a quickie edit. Um, I'm gonna skip um, studio stuff because I do so much studio stuff. Um, this was shot in Atwood, Kansas at, uh, I think it's called, is it called Rod Run? I think they call it, it's an annual thing. It was raining and it was gloomy. It was last May or June. So I just picked this photo because I like the composition. Um, I like the potential, but let's talk about what sucks about this. This truck sucks. Um, so I'm going to make this effectively... I can't, I'm not going to make it disappear. I'm going to make it stop shouting at us. This... The background here is... Oh, it's touch and go what I'm going to do with this. I have to be aware of whatever I do in terms of pulling out the details in the car. I'm going to have to be aware that I don't want to do it on the truck too. I mean on the on this shed too so let's just play around a little bit let's um, start with the tone curve this is kind of more in the middle than up the top so I'm gonna do an S curve but I'm gonna start a little bit lower um, what I really want to do is bring out the details of the raindrops. So the raindrops are going to be up here in the detail end of the luma in our equalizer. So it's very easy to make them pop like that. And then the general flow of reflections and things in the car are more going to be down here. But what I don't want to do is make things fuzzy so can I do something with these reflections without losing detail yeah I think that did it so let's see how else we can sharpen this let's so haze was introduced in 2.4.2 .2, haze removal which can really give a punch it can really give kind of a saturation punch which it definitely has here but I w don't want it to be quite that much there is what I want then I'm going to use somebody pointed this out to me recently which is kinda awesome is if you do a high pass with an overlay it's effectively a kind of sharpened clarity so let's play around with what that did what I don't want is this the impact over there so let's bring that down a little bit and then let's how about Ooh, can we do a drawn mask and uh, overlay? Yeah, we can. So ooh, this is going to be tough. I basically just don't want that. I don't know about this. Let's see. Yeah, that worked. Now let's work on this red truck, which I hate. Um, but it's pretty much the only red we have in the picture, so we can be fairly lazy about getting rid of it. We can desaturate the red. We can darken the red. And there we have what happens if we do hue down there too? Turning it into the blues. Oof, no, don't want that. But we can take the edge off the, the heat of the red. Come on, computer. You're being very slow. There we go. So it's it's affecting the truck a lot. It's affecting the turn signals, and it's affecting the Pizza Hut sign, 
and I'm okay with all of that. So, I want this to be a little bit more ominous. I feel like I've got the... I feel like I've got the major elements together here. I've got what I want out of the car. Do I like the car being green? Well, if I change the car color using something, I'm going to change the grass. And as you've probably known with me, I'm, I'm fairly lazy around masks. But let's see if we can, what happens if we cool this whole thing down a little bit temperature-wise? Is that a white balance? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, using, I mean, I want to, I want to go ominous here. This is not bothering me. This, the way this is becoming more ominous, the dark there, I really like, and I want to do that some other how too. Let's see. Let's, we haven't even touched contrast, which to be fairly light handed with because I've already used the tone curve to add some contrast I don't want to oversaturate but I do kind of want to just let's see um, what does local contrast do to this whole thing good but it's it's taking the car a little towards cartoon like too much but it's doing a beautiful job of this wet road so let's play shooting out of here 24 millimeter so we've got a very exaggerated shape I don't know if perspective uh, lens correction will should impact but do I like the impact so it's fixing some of that fisheye effect so do I want the fisheye effect as an effect or do I not I do Is there any noise that I care about? I mean, we're talking duh, 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 320 ISO on an Nikon D3S, which is practically noiseless. Um, I fear that any noise I do is going to take away. You can see it take it drastically changes the water droplets, but. Let's have a look at that from further out and see if that's something that is visually appealing. It's definitely slowed it down. Um, I feel like we're losing... That's gone mush. So in this case, this is really using denoise as an effect rather than for denoising, and I don't want to do it. Uh, and I don't think there's, I don't, I think I'm good with this. I think the white balance temperature was what really did it for me. Inconsistent output, I have no idea what this is could be because could be because I don't know I just don't know now do I want to take this into GIMP afterwards I could do I could take out that I could lose the lettering here and I could lose this blue thing on the ground but I kind of like where that is I feel like it's not 
comically it's not like somebody's taken a photo and gone <laughs> with the clarity slider I feel like it's I feel like it's real what happens if I drop the shadows in terms of as an ominous innator what happens is it works really hard screen recorder is again using up enough of my resources that it's starting to get painful yeah I do like this I like that this is fading to mush I do like that. In fact, talking about fading to mush, do I in fact even want to go a little bit further with that? Oh, come on, don't be so slow. I mean, I could do the same with this over here, but this really should be a mask. Uh, let's try it. Actually, it don't work now. I'm holding down control so that it's not rounding out these points. I'm just doing more points, which is a pain in the neck. I don't do this very often, as you've probably noticed if you follow my videos. I'm much more about finding a faster way to do this stuff. Now, I don't feel as if I can go around those trees very well. So this might all look totally weird. I don't want to mush out the sky too. Or do I? Let's see. Let's see what that does. <laughs> that looks weird. Uh, mm, it's got potential, but it looks weird right now because of the sky. Well, because of the trees. Have to kind of blend all that in. And then this edge is bad. But let me take. Oh, I like that. I do like that. The only thing that's wrong. Come on, machine. What are you doing? Yeah, it's all the screen recorder. Dark table's not even in the top ten. Um, so I'm going to have to fix this line. So I can do that possibly by softening the mask. Might look okay. Or I can do that by moving around the points. If I right click on the image, it shows me the masks that are there. No, it doesn't. How do I see those images? Yeah. Um, the car's okay. You know what? I could be very lazy and I could just do this. Is that is that believable? From a depth of field perspective? Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's now very stylized, but in a slightly different way.
not sure that this is believable, but I'm also not sure if that, if my eye is drawn to that naturally. This is totally believable. The tree is totally believable. This is totally believable. The truck, not so sure. But you know what? I'm going to call it done. I might come back in 10 minutes and look at it and think, oh, but that's a quick edit. Quick, 15 minutes. Uh, a little bit different for me, something outside, uh, not in the studio. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing this YouTube channel, actually. I'm really enjoying doing dark table stuff. I'm going to start doing more photography and studio shoot stuff. i got something coming up in the next few days where um, a model who's a friend needs to do some um, brand shooting. So we're going to take a photo. To, we're going to record that. Uh, and then do an edit because right, right now you're a dark table user you would not have watched this all the way through if you weren't um, but I thought maybe we could increase the size of the dark table community with some videos that gain some popularity around some of the other shooting styles and shooting challenges that that definitely get a lot of views so I'm going to kind of do some how how did create professional results in a budget so I'm going to take a cheaper camera not do the crazy cheap camera challenge more showing people um, who have lower end equipment how they can get professional results and that includes shooting raw and getting good at editing because that is free so keep an eye open for that please like and subscribe and have yourself a great day adios